What's going on YouTubers? Uh, wanted to give you guys a statue display update of a few things I've built uh, in the cave and removed. So previously you remember I had two Bestas stacked up atop each other in my Saiyan Saga statues inside uh, that display. Now what we've done is we've put this garage shelf. This is a 48 inch wide by 18 inch depth garage shelf. Uh, currently, I just have Broly and Boo on there because uh, I did remove the glass shelf here. I did not want that there. I always hated it there. It's, I don't like middle room shelves. I feel like it's fine now. The room feels a little bit more spacious. I don't have a dangerous Broly holding a Goku out. So it definitely feels really good to get rid of that. I'll probably end up putting some posters on that. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to put anything right here by any means. I do think this is fine, these two shelves here. I still have plenty of walking space, you know, a good four feet here, and I can see all the statues perfectly. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that, I'm just gonna keep like this, just no shelf right there. Which allows me to just view the room much more spaciously, as you can see. So lots of space now. So looks really, really good. So I'm happy I was able to remove that, because that was, part A of my declutteration of my collection. So we are getting rid of Darkseid. I'm selling it to a good buddy of mine. Uh, I, ha I really need to box it up. I'm just trying to enjoy it every minute I can before I get rid of it because it truly is an amazing statue. Unfortunately, it just doesn't fit my theme and collection. And in a collection, honestly, statues that don't fit your theme and lines, you really sh shouldn't have. I you know, for me, I like to have everything in scale. I like to have it all matching. I don't like mixing movie and comic anymore. I'm just not a fan of that. Uh, so this is a video game, one-fourth scale DC statue. I sold off my entire DC one-fourth line. I got rid of that line. I decided to stick to a one-third and half scale and bust only. So one-third and up for DC. Now, granted, this looks almost one-third, so it's huge. But it's a video game and it really is one fourth. It won't go with my one thirds and I don't have space for it. So it really saddens me to get rid of this because it is freaking amazing and the best dark side statue out there. But we're selling it. Once it's sold, I'm going to move Broly there. And then I have multiple options on what I can do here. And I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. So I definitely am going to move Cell Boo Frieza over here. Whether it's just right here and then Broly there and I kept those to still have a mini Saiyan Saga per se, just those two, that could work. You know, just not have the Tsume, just those two like that. Just move that poster down there. Boom, we're done. And then the three villains and Broly. That could work. Or I still sell those, put Cell Boo Frieza down there, Broly there, KD Janemba right there. Uh... KD Janemba, I think, is 30 inches wide. I'd be able to put an additional statue, probably even like the androids there, to have a full-fledged villains display, which sounds awesome. The other option, which I'm also gearing towards, I think might be best, is Cell Frieza Boo. So the three main villains, Broly on the desk, Prime 1 Goku, Prime 1 Vegeta. Technically, I could also probably just keep Cell Boo and Frieza over here. Uh, you know, once I remove Prime 1 Goku and Vegeta, because those are going to be such grails. I hate to put a $1,500 Goku in there. You know, I, I feel like it deserves to be out in the open, top shelf, right here in the best viewing spot. And we could definitely still keep Cell Boo and Frieza here. And I still have two big open spots. So I can space it out and make it look good. I'm going to get KD Frieza. He's only shown a little picture, but I know I'm going to buy it. Uh, so definitely going to get that. But I feel like Prime 1 Goku and Vegeta deserves to be over here. And it also makes that I have less Goku and Vegetas over here. You know, I'd actually move Cell probably right there. Or even Top Shelf. Androids underneath Trunks. Have Cell right there. Maybe... Boo, Android, so let's see, I'd figure it out, definitely, you know, Piccolo, I, I'd figure it out, but ultimately, you know, 
I do want to get KD Janemba as well. I think that thing looks amazing. God, that thing would look so good. So I'm really uh, contemplating getting KD Janemba. I, I just think it'd look amazing. Broly looks fantastic there, but Broly's going to go on the desk, which will look uh, fantastic as well. But I did want to show this to you guys uh, as part of this statue display update. In your opinion, what should I do? Should I... Keep the Saiyan Saga, those two down there, because I already made enough money to fund Arnold, technically. I'm still selling Tsume Krillin. Since I sold one, I'm selling them all. I'm getting out of Tsume 1-6. Uh, just one-fourth for Tsume. But I technically could keep these two to still have Saiyan Saga in it. Uh, still looks good. Separation from the one-fourth above. Uh, definitely a consideration, although I'm still contemplating if I should just sell it. And the reason I would sell it is to fund one-fourth. Uh, the one-fourth Janemba, for example. Uh, I'm basically only going to really collect KD collectible one-fourth from now on out, uh, outside of the occasional MRC. Uh, or if Exceed ever uh, drops his killer piece, I'd consider it. But really, it seems like KD is by far the best unlicensed DBZ creator out there. It's not even a remote competition anymore. Uh, it used to be, but not anymore. He's really solidified himself as the best DBZ statue creator. So I'm going to be sticking to his statues only for DBZ 1 fourth. So definitely going to be upgrading most of my DBZ to just KD products. Not going to get KD Trunks or Vegeta. Uh, I have Tsume Vegeta. I got this Trunks and I'm getting the MRC Trunks, which is the more classic version I do prefer. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely, uh, it's going to be awesome, though. It's basically going to be DBZ from right here all the way ending at MRC Vegeta. And then video games all the way until Goro. So it's going to be sick. Uh, I did want to show you the other upgrade to the cave here in the hallway. So I'm still waiting on my shelving for the main room, so I can't uh, show that to you guys. But in this hallway, I was able to get the fabric, at least, and lighting installed. Alexa, turn on home theater statue lights. Yep, she did not hear me. Alexa, turn on home theater statue lights. All right, so uh, I'm doing this in setups. Everything is in a setup. So first you have Indiana Jones with the poster framed, the prop in the middle, and I think it looks really good. Uh, then right here is where you're going to have Caesar. I'm going to get a larger, probably different poster, to be honest. But at least a 16 or 18 by 24 inch there. Uh, and then, you know, I'm selling this to a friend of mine. So we'll get the Blue Box Hyper Caesar Silicone Bust to go right here. Here we got Jack Sparrow, the Sideshow PF uh, exclusive. Love this statue. I love the concept. It's amazing, great likeness. Uh, I've already paid in full and it shipped my Jack Sparrow silicone life size bus. It's gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna get uh, probably uh, either a 27 by 40 or 24 by 36 poster right here. Most likely it might just be like a skull like this or potentially one which is Jack in the middle. Uh, looking into that option. Then underneath you have Dastin 300. Although I might just remove that poster since he doesn't have a poster and just do no posters there. Uh, then you have a Troy setup with the shield. Troy 1 4th and bust and a little prop. Right here I've done a Medusa display, or well, Clash of Titans. Medusa and Perseus. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is going to stay here. It may be switched out for the Khaleesi bust and prime one one fourth. The reason I would do that over here, you have Alita. Alita one fourth and what will be Alita bust. And then you got one fourth scales underneath, you know, like a good Harry Potter display where they're spread out in a fierce battle. Looks sick. And then I have my Indiana Jones. I got 300. Now, I have the Troy bust display down low. I don't really like putting a bust down low. That is one of my, probably my least favorite bust in my whole collection. And then you have this setup where these two are going to be bust one fourth, bust one fourth. I want to keep it all the same style, bust one fourth. So I'm thinking Khaleesi bust one fourth should go right here. You know, with uh, the Game of Thrones plaque right there and whatnot. 
I think that would look really good and match the whole bust one fourth theme so it all looks the same. And then if that's the case, then we have to move Clash of Titans and this mummy underneath the Justice League. So I'm gonna have two 44 by 24 inch depth spaces where I can easily fit, because this is only 36 inches wide, I can easily fit Medusa and Mummy in one display with Perseus in the middle. I can fit all three of these actually on a display. And I've thought, should I consider doing Warcraft down low? I'd have to see how it looks because they are some of the best one fourth I've ever seen. I don't want to put them bottom shelf, but I also don't want to put them in the hallway. I'd want to do hallway more just like classic movies I loved growing up. Well, Alita's not really growing up a uh, classic, but it's definitely a movie I love. But all these other movies are like, you know, somewhat older movies, you know, like Troy, Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean. Some of my favorite movies growing up. So this is the theme. It's no longer a Greek hallway. There's still Greek theme with Troy and 300, but then I'm adding all these other themes. I'm going to test out Warcraft uh, down low to see how I like it. Right now it's just uh, in this room. Uh, right here, like this, and granted, this looks great, but it does hinder me from getting A, the Dilophosaurus, B, Godzilla bust, and, I, and like I said, I want to go all balls deep in that Godzilla line, having Converse Skullcrawler in the middle, and a bust on each side, Dilophosaurus there, uh, so, plus it'd keep this theme a lot better, so, yeah, War I won't sell Warcraft, but I do need to find a better spot for Warcraft, for sure. So, all three of these can fit on one of these uh, 24 by 44, 48-inch wide uh, garage shelves. If I did do it down low, you'd be looking at it like that, probably. Although, from a distance, probably like that. And I would not be able to do his axe, because it's too tall. That's 39 inches tall to the top of that. He does have a switch out fist, uh, which only makes him 28 inches tall. He is about 32 inches tall. So about as tall, it'd be to the very top. And then he would just be a fist like he's punching. So I'll consider it. If it looks good, I'd consider it. That's the thing. I want to be able to display all my statues to where I can see them great. Now, especially when you're spending big bucks on a silicone, you can't put it down low. I thought about doing Jack on down low, and I'm just like, oh, can't do it. He has to be a top shelf piece. I want to come over here, and, you know, Jack's going to be staring me in the face. You know, he'll be probably about that tall. I want him to look me right in the face. I'm okay with Troy being down there because that was only, you know, a cheaper bust. It's not my favorite. The likeness is off. I still love the general idea of having the Troy bust, and the overall look with the helmet does look cool but the likeness and the detail lacks because it's like greasy with bad, uh, you know, the sculpt isn't there for Brad Pitt, in my opinion. It definitely lacks. I mean, it is there and it also isn't. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of those two bestas, get rid of those two bestas. So I'm going to list those on Facebook Marketplace and put the garage shelving here. And two there, one right there. Then after that, you know, I'll do a statue display update for you guys when that happens. It should be tomorrow, really. Uh, then I'm done for garage shelving for now. It's possible I may upgrade some additional items in the future. You know, I could upgrade that, but I really like how that looks. And there's not a huge advantage to doing garage shelving there unless I decide to not do Freddy and Jason down low. The other potential possibility would be upgrading the transformer room to garage shelving. That I can see myself probably doing, but not anytime soon just because it's quite exhausting uh, doing all this, changing all the shelving and whatnot. I'd have to measure the room out, make sure I can fit everything, because changing that to garage shelving would be quite cumbersome. You know, especially moving Shockwave, you, you can't just lift him up and move him. He is too difficult. Now, the one reason I would want to do garage shelving is to have all the shelving the same. I'd leave this same. That's fine. That matches garage shelving. It'd go from him, and it increased their height to probably about right there. I'd get more height space for those guys. Granted, they don't need a ton of height space. But then I would be able to do all four turtles 
underneath. And I'd probably just move the girls with them, you know, because I'd have the space, uh, especially doing 24 inch deep shelving. Uh, I would do MK only on this wall. And then on this wall, I do two transformers there, you know, and then the four, all the turtles right here. I could probably even connect their bases uh, doing 24 inches deep, connect two of the bases. We'll see. Uh, it's not anything super soon. If I did this, it'd be months out after I fully recovered from everything I've been doing. Because as you know, I've gone through a huge transformation to the Flankster 2.0 man cave. As soon as I get all the shelving done, all the posters up and everything, and a few, few of the more silicone busts I'm waiting for, like Loki and Jack Sparrow, uh, then I do plan to do a full-fledged new room tour for you guys. Just going to wait on the few additional statues, shelving, posters, props. You know, so probably within the next month, we should be doing a new full room tour for you guys. Even though I sort of do mini room tours almost daily for you guys with my statue display updates. Anyways, folks, thank you for tuning in and watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.